Look out! Get him! Man, this guy's good! But not that good! You tell me what I need to know before you die! What? You fatty! You ain't no one anymore! We killed Jack here's about fifty! I know that you were involved in moving the stasis pod. Where is it? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We moved that thing. You know, down to that old pump station on King Street. But we didn't know it was for Dr. Happy. We were just told to move it. I believe you. But I can't have you telling anyone that you saw me. Hey, no problem, man. You count on big time Jerry. Yes, the dead don't talk. Hey, whoa, whoa, man, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh. Now, now, Mr. BB, that's not how we treat our employees. <laughs> Bionic Perry! <laughs> How are those upgrades? <laughs> Although I had no control over the clone, I did have other means, such as control over a bionics tech assistant who was kind enough to install a small inhibitor chip in your bionics. <laughs> Did you think I would be powerless against you? Fool, you have never concerned me. I will let you lie there to contemplate your continued failures. By the time you recover, I will be long gone. After I am done with the one last task that I must regretfully complete myself. Jimmy! Bring the car around. I'm done here. Well, here's your problem. Uh, I guess it was too good to hope that the latest bulbous damage was in my head. Hold still. Uh, I can cauterize the wound. Ah, ah, oh, uh, <laughs> what the hell, man? You could have warned me. Or given me like a belt to bite on. I could have chewed my tongue off. Uh, stop being a baby. Hey, I was stabbed, man. Uh, I guess that'll leave a pretty cool scar, though, eh? Damn it, Jared. Focus. <laughs> What, what did you tell Big Business? He was after Dr. Happy's location, right? Yeah, he wanted to know where we moved this stasis pod thing. We didn't know it was for Dr. Happy. His goons just hired us to move it. That's, that's it, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. Where is it? Yeah, it's a 
on King Street, in that old pump station. Uh, that refurbished building, the one that they're calling the Shiva Center. Yeah, yeah, the Shiva Center, that place with all the artists and stuff. You know, that's it. Oh, man, I don't feel so good. Probably the blood loss. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we make a pretty good team, eh? <sighs> You'll be okay, buddy. And comfy back in jail. Agent Jameson, this is Super Agent Bionic Perry. Go ahead, Bionic Perry. I need ambulances and police to my location. Uh, send in the coordinates now. Uh, I've got several death rat casualties and wounded. Uh, big business was here for information. I'll dispatch agents and ambulance right away. Uh, where's Bancroft now? Going after Dr. Happy. I'm in pursuit. Give me the location. I'll send agents. No. Uh, this is something I need to do alone. A large force will most likely drive big business and Dr. Happy underground. This is my best chance to get them both. Okay then, but I don't like the odds. Uh, trust me, I'm in the best shape of my life. Uh, look, I got this. Uh, I'll radio in the location once I get there. Uh, I just don't want backup getting in the way. Okay, good luck. I'll check in soon. Shape of my life! Best shape of my life! Okay, let's, uh, let's be careful. You be careful, Jimmy. You know what? Why don't you just uh, stand back and uh, let the professionals do their job, okay? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Big Business, he's paying 50 G's to whoever nails this uh, smiley-faced idiot. Damn it, listen to me. We're all going to get killed. Dr. Happy, he's dangerous. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a good one, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, I'm real scared of a guy who wears a plate on his face and carries a big yellow purse. Come on, man, just man up. Jimmy, just don't get in our way. You're a little, little stoolie next to us. Yeah. Why don't you go wait in the car with the boss? <laughs> that's a good one, Lenny. <laughs> yeah, that's man. a real oh, good one. Oh, thanks, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, big business would like to make an offer I'm sorry Jimmy just business. Nighty night, big boy! <laughs> well, that's disappointing. I thought we had an understanding, Doctor. We did. It was understood that you would remain in jail once I betrayed you. Apparently, you did not understand that. My influence runs deeper than you could possibly know, Doctor. Once I kill you, I will disappear again to work in the background. A little hard to do when I dissolve your flesh and bones and dump your liquidy remains into the sewer! <laughs> now, now, no one's killing anyone today. Or whatever that weird thing is you were gonna do. Now, let's just put the cane and the happy bombs down and let's go quietly. Ah, the bionic idiot! Two for one killing, it seems, today! 
Keep your infernal meddling out of this bionetary. This doesn't concern you. You are in no condition to stop me. Now, uh, first off, stopping infernal meddling is the domain of my magic-using wife. Uh, secondly, killing anyone on my watch is very concerning. Plus, I'm in the best shape of my life. Enough talk. Oh, come on! Does this webbing stop anyone anymore? Someone's been taking their vitamins. This time I should end your life! Bax! Glad to be of help! I'm so glad to see you! You are you, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, I think one of the explosions uh, knocked out the stasis pod and woke me up. I'll be okay. Uh, we'll have the lab run a full clone check, of course, just to make sure. This is Jameson. We're here. Perfect timing, Agent Jameson. Got an old friend here that wants to say hi. And probably some uh, medical attention. And an extra large Emma burger with everything on it. Uh, are you sure you should be working? I've been in a partial sleep stasis for a week. Trust me, I'm well rested. And the lab results came back conclusive. I'm really me, and I'm in perfect health. A relief for sure, that you're not a clone, and that you're alive. And you remember everything while you were in the stasis pod? It's weird, I know, but that telepathic brainwave emulator created by Dr. Happy it kept me quite aware of everything. Through the clone? Exactly. It was why the clone was basically able to pick up where I left off. After being unceremoniously gassed and black bagged by goons, the clone was tapping into me, my emotions, my thoughts, uh, my memories. So, in essence, the clone was you, but just not you. While the body was fabricated, it was essentially powering itself through my brain waves. And while I couldn't control it directly, it was acting and reacting exactly as I would have. And I was aware of it all. So, it was still you then who repaired me and helped me out while I was fighting the bull? Theoretically, I was there in spirit, and I remember it all would have acted exactly the same. Me too. Like I said before, I don't think I could have gotten through that fight without you. <laughs> Thanks again. And like I kind of said before, that's what friends are for. There's still one thing that's kind of concerning me, however. What's that? This telepathic brainwave emulator. Dr. Happy's a genius, 
but this is beyond even his capabilities. And in fact, after the bionics lab ran some tests to confirm my theories, this technology doesn't even exist on our Earth. Our Earth? Oh man, I hope you're not saying what I think you're saying. This is technology from Dimension W. I don't know how Dr. Happy acquired it, but he did. But all of the portals were destroyed. Maybe he acquired some debris off the dark web? Hopefully. I'd hate to think we'd have to deal with another incursion. And your dimensional counterpart, the evil Perry robot! Don't remind me. That guy gives me the creeps. Well, we have agents monitoring Dimension W frequencies. In the meantime, I'm just glad everything really worked out. I'm glad too. I could finally take some rest, I think. What with Dr. Happy and Big Business back behind bars, the bull is fully incarcerated again, even Lady is Bulbous and Jack Uzi are back in jail. Uh oh, looks like you're gonna have to wait a little longer for that vacation. I just got word that the enveloper and the incredible floating head knocked over an armored car, and police are looking for some super assistance. Oh, come on, really? Ugh. I hate fighting the incredible giant floating head. The guy's got the worst breath. Ugh. Such is the life of the super agent. Tell them I'm on the way. You bet. Uh, and can you keep the damage to a minimum this time? Hey, you know me. Bionic Perry's on the job. <laughs> agent Madison, this is Agent Baxter. Can I have Bionic's Lab 5 ready to go in about an hour? I'm expecting there's going to be some repair work needed. Thanks.
Okay, Harry, I'll be back at six with your dinner. Ha 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 